Hello, my name is Randy with Southern Music Company, www.mysouthernmusic.com. This is the second uh, segment, second chapter of the installation and operation of the Easy Worship presentation software for churches. This is a great software to have and it will present the videos and the graphics, the words, uh, to songs and the scriptures on your big screen presentation. And this is the second chapter and let's get right on into it of the download and the operation thereof. Here we go. This is Randy with MySouthernMusic.com. This is segment number two. This is going to be the actual download of the Easy Worship presentation software program, installation, and operation thereof. We'll get started into that. Okay, first, now you've already downloaded your codec packs, your descaler, and your FFD show from segment one, and you've got your computer ready now to play all the many different types of video files and setup. Now you need to download the actual program, and you will actually download the program from this site. And initially this comes with, a, uh, I believe, a 30-day trial, and um, you can email us or call us, and we can give you a validation code and sell you the license at a discount with a bunch of free images and videos to boot. Okay, go to your easyworship.com. That should be your website. You're seeing this on the computer screen now. I've already got mine here. Scroll down, try it for free, and you want to click on that. Scroll down the page, download here, click there. Now, it's going to send it in a compressed file. There's two or three ways you could do this. But uh, instead of just opening, just hit save at this point. And it will give you the option of where you want to save it at. Uh, in this case, I would like for you to just, because you can delete this later, uh, select desktop and just save it in your desktop. Scroll down and hit save. This is going to put the, the program in a compressed file on your desktop. Let's go ahead and do that right quick. And it only takes just a moment. Okay. Now, close out here. Downsize. And go back to your desktop. And you're going to see, and right here in this case, uh, it put the file there. You're going to open that. And double click. And what this is going to do is install a program. Now, you would hit run. I'm not going to do this because I already have the program on here. But hit run, and this would install the program on your computer. Once this is done and the program is installed, it should give you an easy worship icon such as you see right here with my mouse. You can come back over here and the initial file where it was uh, stored on the computer desktop, you could actually right click there and, and delete that file out if you so choose to do so. Okay, now let's assume now you have downloaded the file and everything is set up. Now you're ready to operate Easy Worship 2009. While this is loading up, I do want to, to tell you that uh, many, many, many people have downloaded or have bought this program and are very happy and satisfied with it. It will do uh, a lot of the new media stuff that you're wanting to do now in your presentation. And, and I say churches, but in most any case, but churches especially. This program comes with uh, three versions of the Bible. You can purchase at an additional cost of $30 each additional versions of the Bible. Uh, you will have a resource folder where you can store your videos, your pictures, or images. And, of course, you can uh, put your songs in here. And also, if you chose to do so, you could do a live video feed. But right now, we've got the program pulled up. And keep in mind, I said anything that is a text is a song. 
So here at my mouse, you see songs. We're going to come up here, and there's two or three ways you can get around this, but songs, I can either add a new song or, or edit one that I've already got in there. In this case, I'm going to click New. First thing you're going to do right up here to the top left is give the song a title. And this is, I'm just going to say, Welcome, number two, and that can be anything. Just tap down here. Now, one neat feature here when entering text into Easy Worship is that the program will word wrap. So you can just start typing and, uh, as, you, as you would normally. You do not have to change the default uh, or the, the size or the, anything. Just start typing. And I'm just going to do something here and show you. We welcome you. And if you'll notice, instead of running off to the edge of the screen, that it word wrapped and, and put, put uh, a second line there. Now, folks, just from experience in telling you this, it is a good thing, I think, to not have over approximately six or maybe seven lines of text per screen block. And what I mean by that is, it, as it word wraps, the more that you put on that one block of text, the smaller that your font size will become. So if you're showing this on a TV or a projection that is some number of feet away, then it may eventually get too small for people to see or read. So from experience, uh, what I suggest is putting about six to seven lines of text. Now, when you fill that one text box up with the information, and let's say you've put seven lines of text and you still have more to go, to go to a new block or a blank block, where you can enter text, you simply hit enter twice. Now, when I start typing, you will notice that it will go to a complete blank new screen. And, oops, man, I misspell. And it went to a new screen, and then you start it all over. Now, once you've entered this song or, or, or your announcement or whatever this may be, uh, you could hit OK and save it. I will tell you this right quick. If you will notice that mine is uh, in a blue screen background format, you can come here to background. And it has several defaults already in here of images that you could use for a background. However, I will show you later in this segment or the next how you can change those backgrounds. But right now, we just chose a simple blue background screen. You've done your text. Now you're through with it, and you're through with that song. You're going to hit OK, and it will save it in your computer. Now, it will put it alphabetically over here to the left in your quick find. Okay? Welcome number two. There it is. Okay? Now, right to the right of that, if you will notice, I have a check mark on mine, and there's a favorites tab. It's not uncommon for you to have 100 or 200 or whatever songs in here, and it's a lot for you to have to scroll through. You can find something real quickly simply by either tapping here in the title and typing part of the name in. Or if you wanted to make that song a favorite, get in this little bar area right beside the song and right click. And you'll notice it's a little check there now. So now if I hit my favorites, it's going to bring up just what I have checked out of all of my songs, announcements or whatever as my favorites and I can go to it quicker. Back out of that. If I don't want it anymore, I right click it and, and uh, excuse me, I left click it and I can uncheck it. So it's a left click that you do, but you have to be inside this little bar area right here. So now we've created a song or a text. Next beside that, you will notice scriptures. There's a scripture tab. It comes up in the King James Version. And you simply can do a quick find. You can type in the name of the book, what have you, and add that scripture. If I want that scripture there. Right above this, folks, is a schedule block. 
And what this is, is where I can set up my schedule or somewhat of an order of service, how I want these to go. Now, I'm just going to jump back here. I know I'm going back over myself. But and I'm, the welcome announcement that we did, I've got it highlighted. I'm going to add it into the uh, schedule up here. So it will go to it first. Any other announcements or text that you want to do, you simply find it and you add it and hit the plus scriptures you go to the scriptures same way find what you want add this in and add it in there i see that my time is just about up we will take up where we left off right here in segment number three of easy worship presentation software